Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to bring you a very important update on Ethereum. Okay, I see a few very interesting things happening on chart in the technicals and off chart that I want uh, I want to let you guys know about because I think it's very important to try and understand what Ethereum is going to be doing. So before we actually delve into the technicals, I think it's worthwhile discussing kind of the macro picture what's going on off chart, folks. Ethereum is leaving exchanges. This is a very big deal. This, uh, when Ethereum leaves, leaves exchanges, that that lifts um, the buying pressure, sorry, sorry, selling pressure, which allows the price to increase. None of that, folks. Ethereum 2.0 is being rolled out, which is going to lock up lots of Ethereum for extended periods of time. Ethereum is now deflationary. We have so many major bullish macro catalysts for Ethereum. I do not think this. We've seen anything yet uh, for Ethereum. I think the next few months, uh, few next weeks and few months here are going to be absolutely insane for Ethereum as well. A giant, giant, giant news story, folks. We cannot underplay how important this is. MasterCard will let merchants accept payments in crypto this year. Folks, this is a massive news story on the scale of Tesla or, or Apple buying into crypto. Folks, the big players, the institutions are moving in. We haven't seen anything yet i've said it before months ago i think this bull run has the potential to be the most insane bull run in cryptocurrency history and we are now in the beginning stages we are now starting to see some of those macro events just start to play out folks just start to play out this is just the folks we have so many massive bullish catalysts and looking on chart looking at ethereum we are above significant resistance 1780 to kind of 1760 is acting as a major inflection point for ethereum if we can maintain above 1780 i do believe we're likely to see an, uh, a, a move up although uh, there's not a guarantee that we're going to see that move up soon we're starting to see long wicks to the upside we keep getting rejected off these levels so we could see further rejection but i just want to make clear i think our, our very next impulse whenever that next impulse may be i think takes us to 2000 2000 to kind of you know 2030 bucks somewhere around the 2000 dollar range i think that is our next impulse when that next impulse whenever that next impulse is because um if we zoom out here on a chart of ethereum Ethereum was in this very macro ascending triangle that we've been talking about for weeks. So stay tuned to this channel, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon, and new bolts. We've been in this ascending triangle for for weeks and months. Broke up bullishly. Take the height of this thing, move it to the breakout point. That takes us to two thousand dollars. Lines up beautifully with one of our Fibonacci extension levels. So let's take a look at the technicals and kind of get a sense, kind of gauge what Ethereum is doing. Very concerningly, we're starting to know the the MACD on the daily is ticking down. Bearish crossover on the weighted MACD, although bullish crossover on the stochastic R side, so we're not getting a confluence of reasons. We cannot be looking at this. I would not be very confident of direction as well. RSI, look at the RSI just moving sideways. Um, Ethereum is very iffy right now. It does not want to pick a direction. Let's look at the 12, very indeterminate. The daily is very indeterminate. Uh, uh, 12 hours sort of look more bearish. Looks like we might have a bearish crossover. Looks like the stochastic, but then again, stochastic, uh, sorry, the weighted MACD might have a bullish crossover stochastic r side bears crossover r side just moving sideways kind of in the overbought region we're seeing some weakness doesn't look strong looks kind of bearish to be honest and then look at this again we're not getting a confluence of reasons so a macd looks like it wants to take up have a bullish crossover uh six hour weighted macd looks like it wants to have a bullish crossover six hour bullish uh um crossover on the stochastic r side this does not look uh we do not have a confluence of reasons it's very indeterminate also our side here is in an apex like if we take this, we're gonna have a very uh, we're gonna have a breakout soon with the RSI. Whatever way the RSI breaks out of this thing is gonna be very very telling for price action. Breakout bullishly, see bullish continuation. Breakout bearishly, likely to see bearish continuation. So uh, RSI is very uh, is uh, is near a breakout point. It's gonna be very interesting to see how that plays out in the six hour. Um, but aside from that, guys, we're getting different indicators pointing in different directions. So we're not getting confluence of reasons. It's very iffy. Uh, four hour, you know, more strength again. RSI near breakout point. Take a look at the two. Two hour bullish crossover, although, yeah, look at this, folks. Super, super. Okay, so let's stop looking at indicators because it's very indeterminate. I think the main takeaway is, we're, you know, the macro trend is kind of bullish, although we're very over exhausted. We're trying to see some signs of some weakness. We're seeing long weeks to the upside, although we keep finding support every time we dump. So, main takeaway here 
kind of the these levels are obviously very price reactive if we start to break below 1760 i think we go for that next leg down i've said i, I think if we go for that next leg down that brings us to about 1620 to you know 1490 uh breakout point from this ascending uh breakout point from this descending triangle and breakout point from the macro ascending triangle what is kind of you know uh, 1475 to 1620. So anywhere within this range, I think we're very lucky to find support. That's where I would be looking to accumulate Ethereum if we corrected. And in fact, as well, the six hour 100 EMA is right within my accumulation zone. If we could see here, last time we pumped, dumped, found support there. Pumped, dumped, found support there. So this 100 EMA on the six hour is gonna be very critical support. Again, right within my accumulation region. So Ethereum is kind of in, a, in an inflection point right now, guys. It's gonna decide very soon whether it wants to break up or down. Uh, again, if we start to break below these ranges, I think we fall here. If we start to uh, break above key resistance levels of like 1820 to 1835, I think that next impulse takes us to two, to two thousand dollars and folks that's kind of what i see happening in the short term over the long term ethereum is endlessly bullish folks in my hu most humble of opinions with tesla moving into bitcoin rumors of apple moving into bitcoin mastercard visa start, starting to get involved in, in the cryptocurrency space folks if we start to see uh s p 500 companies start to put a small percentages of the balance sheet one two five percent of their balance sheet into bitcoin as a store of value Folks, we could see a half a million dollar Bitcoin this cycle. If Bitcoin goes to half a million dollars, what does Ethereum do? Could we see Ethereum at $50,000? I mean, that's not a guarantee, but maybe. Like, look, folks, if we look back last cycle, and this is kind of what I'm gauging this off of. Let's look at the daily. We can see that last time Ethereum reached over 12% a bitcoin's price at the peak so let's let's say let's presume this time around let's guess that this time around ethereum could reach 10 percent of bitcoin's price at the peak so if bitcoin's at 300,000 400,000 500,000 what is ethereum at bitcoin at 500,000 could we see ethereum at fifty thousand dollars folks i i i don't even feel right saying it because it's so crazy but is it possible it's technically possible uh, I think Bitcoin is likely to reach its peak sometime September, October this year. And I think Ethereum and the altcoins are likely to reach their peak roughly a month after Bitcoin. I'm basing that off uh, pr the previous cycle. Um, last time Ethereum reached its peak roughly a month after Bitcoin. So could something similar happen this cycle? I do think so. So folks, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell icon to find the If anything further interesting happens, we'll definitely be talking about it in our Discord group. Links to join that will be down in the description below. As well, consider joining our Patreon where you get access to our VIP Discord group. Uh, they get the coins we're looking at first, uh, low cap gems, that kind of thing. Uh, make sure you check out our, our Patreon group. Link for that will be down in the description as well. As well, just as our regular Discord, a link for that will be down in the description as well. We post you know helpful you know technical analysis, resources, uh, major news events, uh, setups, all that kind of Gucci stuff, all in our Discord all will be linked will be in the link down in the description below as well we will be giving out a hardware wallet randomly to one of the first 100 patreon uh, members who join our patreon so you know consider joining our patreon helps helps us out we really appreciate it and you guys get stay to uh, get access to our vip discord group so folks thank you so much for watching stay tuned to this channel take care